Okay, this is one of the most important tools you can have for a prepper, and that's if you operate a main battle rifle, your semi-automatic military-style rifle, you are going to need this tool, especially with reloads. This is a broken round extractor, or broken shell extractor, or a ruptured shell casing extractor. Hey folks, it's been a couple of years since things sort of unraveled. And today, we've decided to make the 13 mile walk into town to what used to be the farmer's market, and it's a Wednesday, and every Wednesday is barter market. It's a long way to go, the 13 miles, but what you're actually hoping for is to find a patch kit for your bicycle tire. As uh, usually on a Wednesday, if you need to go into town, you'll go and put everything on your modified trailer that you've created and pedal it into the town the 13 miles. Uh, it's a lot easier than walking. Unfortunately, when you get there, uh, nobody's got anything remotely like a patch kit. So you start looking around trying to make the best trade you can and bring home something good. There's some corn liquor that makes your mouth water, but that's not what you came here for. You need something useful after going all this way. You wind up trading a fresh killed squirrel, a can of peaches, and a pouch of homegrown tobacco for 12 rounds of 762 by 39. This is some raggedy looking ammo. You can tell it's been reloaded several times. Heck, three of the rounds are even cast lead bullets. But beggars can't be choosers, and you don't remember the last time you had more than six rounds in your AK magazine. And while you're walking that long 13 miles home that afternoon, you start idly thinking. And what you're thinking about is the fact that you haven't had more than six rounds in this 30 round magazine in a long, long time, longer than you can remember. And idly you start thinking, wondering if they ever made a 10 round magazine for the AK and wouldn't that come in handy right now? Probably in California. Do you walk along, you think about those rounds that you managed to trade for and you realize you got a good deal as long as they do work when you need them to. Now one thing, knowing that they're reloads and knowing that they've been reloaded several times, is you have to worry about metal fatigue. Metal fatigue can lead to a ruptured case and leave you high and dry in a gunfight. The shell casing is actually so fatigued that when the extractor hooks onto the base of it, it yanks the tail end of the round right off, leaving you with the majority of the, the uh, shell casing stuck up inside your forcing cone. Luckily, you've got this handy tool in your saw pistol grip, you've got this. And this is a broken round extractor tool. Now I'm going to talk about malfunctions in a different video. This malfunction, though, when you come across it, it'll mystify you no matter how much, how many drills you've done uh, working your malfunctions. Because it looks like a double feed, it acts like a double feed, but then when you clear the whole thing, it's still not working out. And it'll hit you that what it is, broken shell casing. Now, as I said in another video, we'll go over working through malfunctions. When you do have a malfunction, what you're going to do is you're going to transition to your handgun. Not everybody has a handgun, so you've got to learn to work the malfunctions. Now, as far as this particular malfunction, what you'll have is the broken shell stuck up inside your forcing cone. You'll know it because you've tried to clear it and chamber around several times, and that round is not going into the forcing cone. You need to drop the magazine. Tilt the rifle to its side, and you want to bring the charging handle to the rear. Drop this in as if it's a round. Let it go home. You might have to work it two or three times, but it should draw right out with the round attached. For a right-handed person, drop the magazine, tuck it, and it should eject it right out. This is a pretty complex malfunction, time-consuming to clear. So if you do have a handgun, you want to go ahead and transition to that. Basically, in my experience, I have dealt with some questionable ammo overseas, 
and in one day on the range I witnessed 12 broken shell casing malfunctions. If that happens in the fight and you don't have one of these, you're out of the fight if you don't have a handgun. Now, there is a remedial way to get that broken, broken shell out of there, and that's with your cleaning rod going backwards down the muzzle, which is not good, and you risk scratching up your bore. However, if you don't have one of these, that's what you're going to have to do. Now, if you look at the shape of it, it's got a small rim similar to the cartridge casing. It's got some prongs up here. The way that this works is it feeds in to your forcing cone and your rifle. These little prongs hook onto the front edge, the leading edge of that round, and then the extractor, when you pull back on the charging handle, pulls the whole thing out. Now, I've taken a 7.62 casing and cut it with a hacksaw just to show you what it looks like, how this happens literally your extractor is going to yank the rear end of that shell casing totally off because it suffered from metal fatigue because it was either poorly made or it's been reloaded a bunch of times so what happens is you will drop this into the chamber let it feed into the forcing cone it'll come up as the bolt goes home it's going to feed all the way in then, as you pull back the charging handle, that extractor will hook and it will pull the whole thing out and eject as a normal round would. During a SHTF situation, you're not going to know where you get your ammo. You are going to have ammo that's been reloaded several, several times. So I highly recommend getting this $3, $5 little tool for all of your, your semi-auto rifles at least your your main battle rifles so they make them in all different calibers just go ahead and get it and get you a saw style pistol grip wrap it in a rag and slip it up inside there and it's always there when you need it stay safe